Today is a beautiful Friday. Of course, uh, all of us are preparing ourselves to enjoy our weekend. But I think it is important that uh, today we conclude our series of insights on financial literacy, uh, touching on the expenditure plan. And uh, it was clear in the beginning that the expenditure plan had allocations 60% for basic needs, 20% for saving, 10% for developing social capital, and an additional 10% that was set aside for personal entertainment. I think we have had discussions of all those percentage points or all those ratios, and today we conclude the discussion on expenditure plan by focusing on the 20% uh, sorry, focusing on the 10% uh, entertainment quota. It is important that as we meet our basic needs with the 60% and as we make savings so that we can accumulate wealth with the 20%, as we develop social capital because you never know tomorrow who will help you or what relationships or what networks or what opportunities can come to, through the social capital that you invest in, it is important that you motivate yourself by entertaining yourself. That's why in our expenditure plan, we are very clear on an allocation of 10% so that you can be able to entertain yourself, so that you can rejuvenate your energy, so that you can have the reason uh, to work harder because you feel that you actually also uh, can enjoy uh, the fruits of your labor. It is important for all of us to have an allocation of certain amount of resources such that these resources can help us, you know, um, have a holiday, for example, or uh, a go out uh, or a family outing or with friends to be able to relax and to be able to uh, entertain and enjoy yourself. Remember that in as much as you're saving, life can be very mysterious and interesting and you may not live to enjoy your savings. So as you save, as you spend on basic needs, as you develop social capital, make sure that you don't forget yourself. You must entertain yourself, you must enjoy, because by enjoying your 10%, you're actually um, refilling your level of energy especially dealing with issues of mental health where you can be able to relax and rest and be able to uh, re-energize, to be able to look for more resources so that you can be able uh, to continue uh, meeting your various needs as you move forward. Therefore, I'd want to conclude by saying that it is important to spend your money prudently within the expenditure plan for the 6% basic needs to save your 20% and to spend only 10% on your social capital development, but also to entertain yourself with your 10%. And that makes 100% of your income. Thank you very much.